What is up everyone? This is Sword King 90 and the return of the PVN event or Pirates vs Ninja event and PewDiePie's Tube Simulator for the year 2023. All you gotta do is have the most recent update, which is version 2.10.1. If you have yet to have that update, be sure to manually download that update through Google Play or the Apple's App Store. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We had the event back in May and now it's back in September that we are getting this event once more before we get ourselves a 7th year anniversary event. But let's see what we got here is that we have two songs to listen to one of them will be all sales out and then the other one will be shinobi and all sales out is so upbeat i'm gonna keep that going for this one and i believe i was an actual pirate last year or not last year but last may or this may whatever you want to call it at this point that i'm gonna become a ninja for this event but first of all let's see what we got here 11 days to enjoy this event a total of 12 days actually that you have all your tokens to get from your daily quest sponsor you gives the Craniac minigame and as well as the Puggle minigame and then you'll be able to get your mask rewards, item tracker rewards, stickers and I believe you get a pixeling. Yes you do. So we get all of those once you collect all the tokens necessary for those boxes. And now we have a total of 18 masks to collect so hopefully you've been catching up with every single event thus far in Tube Simulator. That every single mask reward is just going to be completely different from one person to the next person. So you're just going to have to hope for the best to get the mask that you want to get. One of the masks that you have, it would be a little bit of a skull for the actual face right there. A skull mask, I should say. All the other ones you're able to buy from the shop from here. And then backing out, we go to our mask rewards. And we have ourselves a combination of pirates and ninjas in a different type of outfits. You have yourself shinobis and warriors and things like that. I'm going to say shinobi for a lot of these things because I do not remember or even know the names of every single one of the actual mask rewards or the items in itself. But we do have a pirate parrot or parrot pirate. Then we have ourselves a ninja in the shadows. We have ourselves a treasure chest. Then JV Jones. A little bit of a demon right there, a conical hat, then you have yourselves a kitsune mask, then you have yourselves a parrot on the shoulder with the pirate outfit right there, another Davy Jones ghost, then you have a Japanese no mask, then you have a shinobi, then I still don't know exactly what this one is, I believe that's like a little bit of a hairstyle, glasses, and then the mask right there, I still don't know what that is, but that's one of the other mask rewards that you're able to get, and then further down with the other four, that's the one you could actually buy from the shop here. So which one am I going to go with this one? I did say I was going to be a pirate, so let's go ahead and go with the one with the beard, and then we'll go with black hair, and then I'm able to still wear my glasses from here. Then for other customizations that we have ourselves a bit of outfits right here, I'm going to go ahead and go with this one right now, and then for, I would say, the chair, there you go. We have ourselves a dragon's mouth, or that we have ourselves some planks. So we're going to go with the pirate theme for this one and then we're going to scroll back up. You have yourself some cabin and as well as another desk that has a ninja underneath. So we'll go with the cabin desk and then for the actual monitor you have yourself a scroll or a cannon. Then let's see here. Let us see here that we do have some actual well I say floorings right here. One of them is going to be a bit of a dojo like thing. And by dojo, it will be the light planks, and then you have dark planks, so the, that's one of the other twos you could actually get. And then for the actual wallpaper, it's going to be the same thing. You have yourselves a cabin, or you have yourselves a dojo, which I went to the actual backgrounds by mistake. Both scrolling further down here, that we have ourselves the cabin or the dojo right there. But since I'm going to be showcasing a lot of items, I still go with the basic black theme right here. Now we're going to take a look at the shop items that you're able to get. That is going to intermingle with the actual Craniac items and as well as Iron Track rewards if I'm not mistaken. So we'll go through that one by one. So we're going to go to our shop items. Pirates versus Ninja. That the first one is going to be a pile of gold. So that's a lot of gold for your room. That's going to be the carpet right there. Then we have ourselves some stepping stones. Or just stones for your garden. Now the thing about Pirates vs Ninja is that a lot of these items are very useful outside of the event itself. So do not waste time. Buy all the items that you can. So that's a barrel. These are some piers or rafters right here. So that's one of those things. You can build your bridge if you want to. You have yourselves a pile of bones. But once again, do not waste time. Buy all the items that you can for a lot of the room events from here and as well as future room events. So that's the cobblestone wall. Here's the actual majestic water carpet that everybody's been asking to get. So be sure to buy all that, max it out for your room. And then we have ourselves some more logs and tiers and things like that for your piers. Then we have a little bit of a bamboo stock. Then you have some animated waves so you can have a river or a beach front. Then you have ourselves a testing dummy right here that you could actually just fight along with. 
And then we have ourselves a little bit of a bird that's also animated if you just wait long enough for it to flap its wings. But even then, it's just oh so cute for a little Tweety Bird right here. There you have that. Then we have ourselves some more rafts. So there you go, a makeshift raft or a bridge if you want to. Then you have ourselves a little bit of a window for the cabin. Then we have ourselves some shurikens. I think that's a shuriken. I think that's the correct one. Hopefully I, I did not mix those ones up. But even then, we have that for the wall right there. Then you have ourselves a pile of gold to collect right here. Then we have ourselves a bit of a poster with a bit of a moon right there. That's beautiful right there. Or that could be a sun at that point too. It's just the land of the rising sun. Then we have ourselves a seagull that also goes squawk right here. Just a couple of seconds and then you see us open up its beak. There you go. Then we have some garden pieces right here. Just a bit of some decorations for that. And then we have ourselves a bit of a bottle right here if you want to have that going on for you. Then we have ourselves some more bamboo. There's a lot of them right here. Then we have ourselves some coral, I would say. I believe that's coral, but we have some rocks and other type of sea items right here. Then we have ourselves a little bit of a lantern. So there we go. Then we have ourselves a bit of a sword. I still don't know exactly what this is. That's been there for the longest time, but I still don't know what it is. But then we have ourselves a bit of a crystal skull right here. Crystal sword, crystal skull, who knows? But we have ourselves an anchor too. And then we have ourselves a bit of a feng shui cat going on here too. And then Captain Blackbeard. So there you have that for the last item on the shop items. And now we're going to go to the actual item tracker rewards here too. So you can buy them for 45 bucks each or if you have yet to actually get them. Then just get all the tokens, open up the item tracker reward boxes from there. But we still have a little bit of a thin type of water right there. Just in case if you needed more room or you don't have enough carpets to fill out the little tiny gap. Now you have this going on for you. Then we have ourselves a bit of a wall. There you go. It could be a door, but it's pretty much a wall right there. Then we have ourselves a bit of a pirate monkey right here. So there you go. That is actually pretty nice right there. Then we have ourselves a pirate just pushing off the actual stowaway, I would say. Just walk the plank for ya. And last but not least, for now, we have ourselves a bit of a ninja on the wall. Just scaling right there and also camouflage there too. And now we're going to go to the Craniac items. The first one will be the actual bamboo stalk right there. Then we have ourselves another wall. So you can have yourselves a bit of a training dojo or that you can make yourselves a house if you want to. Then we have ourselves a little bit of a pirate ship. Just a mini one at that or it could just be a giant one for scale because at least we have ourselves some crack and tentacles coming out of the water here. Then we have ourselves some cutlasses on the wall. And then we have ourselves a megalodon or just a simple shark that's just out of water. Then we have ourselves a mountain or Mount Fuji. There you go. Or Mount Everest if you want to have that as well. Just there's a lot of possibilities. Then we have ourselves a blood moon or the rising sun right there. Then we have ourselves a steering wheel for the actual ship. Then we have ourselves an anchor. A rusty anchor for the water aesthetics right there. And then we have ourselves a hidden shinobi or a ninja. Then we have ourselves a bit of a warrior. Just a pirate warrior at that. Just high class there too. Then we have ourselves a bit of some trees. It simply just it reminds me of birch trees from Minecraft. That's all I know from, from. Then we have ourselves a giant cannon. And then we have ourselves Captain Smitty right here. And then we have ourselves a bit of another warrior right there. I do not remember the name on the top of my head right here. And then we have ourselves. I still don't know what this is to this day. But even then that looks very cool. And then, oh, look at that. I'm almost maxed out on that. I got to play a lot of more Craniac. But we got for ourselves some buried treasure uncovered. Then we have ourselves a skull with some gold on there. Even then, that is a beautiful skull. And then we have ourselves a bit of a fin. Hopefully that's a dolphin, but we all know that that may not be it. Then we have ourselves some scorpion references right here. And then we have ourselves Sub-Zero. So that's very nice. And then we have ourselves a Hydra or Sea Serpent. If you cut off the head, maybe the actual more heads will spawn out of that. But even then, that is a Sea Serpent if I do say so myself. Then we have ourselves a bit of a hidden clone right here going on. Then we have ourselves... I would think that this is a Sonya reference there too. But still nice. And then we have ourselves a pirate that got captured by one of the tentacles right there. And then we have ourselves a table. 
just the captain's table, just for the map and things like that. A lot of them have been placed down by accident, but even then, it's still nice to look at for a lot of decorations in the background. And then we have ourselves a bit of a cat with some fans. I still don't know what this is a reference of, but even then, it looks like they're dancing when you rotate them. And then we have ourselves a bit of just a simple ship right there. Not a ship, but a boat, I should say. It could be a ship if you have a sail right there. Isn't that the only difference between a ship and an actual boat? It's just the sails? And then we have ourselves some more of these type of, I would say, bridges or tables. Depending on how you want to look at it. You can just set them side by side if you want to. Just make yourself a makeshift pier too. Even then, that's actually very nice. That's actually more a bit of a cleaner or sharper type of one. Then we have ourselves some more warriors right there, just in these outfits there too. And then we have ourselves, I guess that this is a skater ninja. Even then, that is also cool to see. It's just a little bit more, bit more modern. And then we have ourselves a sunken ship. There you go, or just shipwrecked, I should say. Or it could be both. And then that was the last one. So there you go. That is a lot of items for Pirates vs. Ninja. One of the best events out there. There's just so many of these items to look out for, so just be sure to play the game and actually collect everything that you can. We're going to go to our inventory and we're going to see the pixelings real quick. That's we're going to go to magnifying glass, scroll all the way down to the eyeballs right here. Just the eggs with eyes, there we have that. That I do know that we have Mimic and Nobu as the actual pixelings. But we're going to take a look at the non-Prisma ones, so there's Nobu right there. So we have that and then mimic well nobu has a boost in subscribers and dark with it that is a common egg and then mimic is going to be a golden egg with or on common with a view boost and gaming and as well as lifestyle so there you go we have mimic right here it's going to be the same thing for the prisma counterparts just just a little bit amplified right there so we have nobu that's going to be the white ninja right here so there you go then we have ourselves Prisma Mimic right here. It may take a while for them to actually be active, but even then, they are very nice to look at. So there are the four pixelings that you're able to get. They will appear more often in the actual event, but once the event is over, you can still collect them whenever you see them when in the actual Craniac mini game for the Prismas or that you happen to get one from the egg dispenser. Now we take a look at the item packs that you're able to get for the event itself. The first one is going to be the pirate pack that it contains 25 exclusive items. They don't give XP, but every pirate needs the tools fit for their trade. And then for the ninja pack, it's going to be another 25 exclusive items. They don't give XP like training does, but having the proper equipment also is also vital. So we're going to take a look at them both at the same time now. So let's go ahead, or simultaneously I should say. We go back to our inventory, hit the mafian glass. And then we're going to go to our Pirates vs. Ninja type of icon right there. So the first one, here is the Pirates pack. Then we have ourselves a gourd right there. And then we have ourselves a little bit of an animated flag to look at. And then let's see here, let us see here. I, I keep accidentally placing them down when I don't mean to. But we do have some skeletons in the sand right there. Sadly they perished. Then we have ourselves a prisoner in a cage. So if you ever wondered where you actually get that, it would be in the Pirate pack. Then we have ourselves some crates. So there you go, an Outer Minds reference right there. And then we have ourselves a treasure map on the wall right there. And then we have ourselves a bit of decorations for your ship right there too. And then we have ourselves a treasure chest. Just more treasure chests to have. It's just so many gold pieces, so many money to collect. And then we have ourselves a bit of a giant skull for the waters. So there you have that. Just Simply, you have a moss stone, or that you have ourselves a giant skull. Then we have ourselves a pirate, parrot, parrot, pirate, just a green parrot, but it's not animated sadly. But we do have a cannon, a buccaneer cannon, if I think that's the correct one. And then we have ourselves a mermaid or a siren, depending on how you want to actually have that going for you. And then we have ourselves a ninja pack, which is going to be a little bit of a bonsai tree, just a tiny tree at that. Then we have ourselves another gourd right here, there you have that. And then we have ourselves a koi fish, yin and yang poster on the wall. And then we have ourselves some scrolls for the wall here too, for the dojo. And then we have weaponry on a rack right there too. Just some more katanas to look at. Just a collection of weapons there. And then we have ourselves a more collection of weapons. You got your shurikens, you got yourselves a nunchucks. It's just so many things going on there too. And then we have ourselves a pedestal with a scroll on top. So there you go. Then we have ourselves some doors. 
But simply put it, open the door to the dojo or the kingdom. Then we have ourselves a bit of a house right there. This could be like the dojos or just some homes that you could actually have. But you could also place items on the roof just as long as it doesn't exceed the actual height limit. So there you go with that one. And then we'd go ahead and see some ninjas. We have the first one right there. And then we're going to see the second one right here. They're all animated, ready to go and to fight. And then the third one is just going to be the one that's on the wall there too. If you happen to get yourself to the top 100 when it comes to Pirates vs. Ninja event, you'll be able to get yourself a trophy there too. It's just a trophy that has the pirate sword or cutlass and as well as a shuriken in the trophy itself. Very nice to look at. And last but not least, we're going to be taking a look at Edgar and Maya in the actual event here too. So we're going to go back to our items. I'm going to go ahead and buy a couple of spiders. I'm still working on maxing out every single item in the game, little bit by little bit. One of these days, I'll actually start live streaming in that progress. But until then, let's look at Edgar and Maya. That Edgar and Maya will be in either a pirate or a ninja costume. Let's see here, just in the background, we see them going on with a pirate or ninja outfit. So that's Edgar, and then we just take a look at Maya. Let's see Maya, come on down, don't be shy. There you go, Maya's in the pirate outfit. But for now, this is everything I can show you guys for the Pirates vs. Ninja event and PewDiePie's Tube Simulator for year 2023. One of the best events out there for the game, so there's a lot of items for you to collect, but be sure to collect every single item that you can because it's going to be very useful for either the room events for Pirates and Ninjas or that's going to be useful for future events from now on. But let me know in the comment section below what you think about the event. You like it? Do you not like it? Personally, it's one of my top three favorites for the actual game itself. But either way, I will be making the videos on the Mask Wars and as well as the Adam Tracker Wars separately once I get the tokens for them. But until then, I really do hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so and if you found something new and as well as you learned something today and enjoyed it, then be sure to give this video here a like to help support the channel and the videos here on YouTube. If you're brand new to the channel and support videos, content, and live shoes in the future, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification, turn on the all notifications so that miss out on future content, and last but not least, feel free to leave down your Peter Pie Super username as well as the network in the comment section below. Have more friends, have more followers, have more gifts, have more Google joining your network, have more fun playing the game every single day as it could continue to update this game every month. But until next time, I've been SorkinZ0. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe out there, and as always, I'll see you guys next time in a new video or live stream.